that after I read this much music press release and I wrote the post, you and I got in contact with each other because you thought I was shitting on you, but we've already dealt with that. Yeah. And I want to know what happened. Like, I want to know three months ago, what happened? Like, tell me about this, this tweet and this meeting and, and what has gone into what looks like, I'm not saying this is the case, what looks like you suggesting something to Bell and then Bell saying they're not interested and then turning around and saying, hurry up and put this shit on TikTok before Kersner finds out. Yeah, the uh, the fact is actually I was talking to the previous management, previous president of Bell Media about uh, Randy, bringing, Lennox. Randy Lennox, right. about bringing uh, much music back, bringing back its library, finding a way to bring back its library and to create new stuff as an online channel. And he really, really liked it, he said. And he handed me off to his second in command, who I guess was swamped with work. We met and then didn't meet. And then the COVID hit. Um, and then I contacted Randy again. And he said, I'm really into this idea. And just when uh, I we were, and this was just like in December. Yep. And then he leaves in January. I didn't know he was leaving. Um, so he leaves. The guy who I was dealing with, who was his second in command, gets fired. So that all goes out the window, all the planning that we were discussing out the window. And then uh, I get, uh, I was reached out, reach out to by the gentleman who's in charge of the Much Music brand at Bell. Nice guy who uh, I remember he used to work in some capacity in Much Music PR, I believe, um, a long time ago. So we had a nice phone call. And he said that he thought that my idea of creating a, a channel which is uh, updated, you know, with new VJs, with social media interactivity, and focusing on independent Live artists. programming, yeah, that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That he said, that's a good idea. I think it'll succeed. And I said, how about we make it officially much music? And he said, well, we really don't have any uh, interest or any plans to be using that brand any time in the future. He did say that if we do, we'll probably try to aim for like Generation Z or younger. Um, and I said we were aiming primarily at the beginning at Generation X because they're the people with the affection for much music. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said that, uh, you know, they're not planning. Maybe somewhere down the road they're planning on using it. And maybe we would talk at that point in time if they were going to revive it. Uh, it was very, you know, very maybe. There was no commitment or anything there. Um, but they were very definitely not using it. And he encouraged me to go forward and, and had no con platform. They had no concrete plans to use it. They had which no was... anything. No okay. plans at all. Uh, right. to use it is what he told me. And when was that conversation? Well, that conversation was in mid-February. Mid-February. And so fast forward, did you, did you know anything about this announcement before it came out this morning? No, not a no. word. No, not a thing. And, so fast uh, forward, they say the brand is dead. Uh, we don't, if, if we do something with it, we'll give you a call. You put six years of effort into this thing. This morning you wake up and you see this tweet. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, uh, I saw somebody forwarded me the tweet, but yes, I saw that. I love their their new logo. You know, there's a there's a chain of religious bookstores in Toronto that has a logo that looks a lot like that. I mean, that's that's really yeah. the kids are going to go nuts for that logo. Uh, <laughs> well, they're putting it on TikTok. Which, if uh, listen, if you're gonna if you're gonna like shove super fast content at a generation with ADHD which is what Munch Music was for, right? It was in and out, and you get three-minute videos, five-minute songs, four-minute bits. Like, it was quick. It moved super fast. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is going to be successful for them. But what I'm interested in is, do you have some kind of case? Like, do you have some kind oh. of recourse to go in and go, hey, listen, guys, ah, in good faith, I've been chasing be this down and wanted to do this. Ah. I just think it looks ultra-fucking-greasy. That's just me. Am I nah, wrong? You know what? Lock? James, you know is what? it greasy? Hey. No this case. is not going to succeed for them. Sorry to, to disagree with you. They started something called Much Digital Studios a dozen years ago or so. Have you heard of it? No. no. Uh, because that was supposed to be the thing <clears throat> that put the Much brand online. It yeah. failed miserably. Uh, this is going to fail because the people watching TikTok have no connection to what Much Music was. And if they do, it's something their parents used to listen to or used to watch, which makes it uncool. And they're doing, you know, TikTok has a limited amount of time that they can run things. And they're probably going to be kissing the ass of all the big name uh, celebrities, the big name talent. We're going, we're going specifically for independent, small label, new music, not mm -hmm. the stuff that's already oversubscribed. And our stuff is going to be an hour long at, you know, each show. 
uh, is going to be an hour long. And uh, they're going to use, they said they're going to use their influencers. It's all smacks of, much music used to be, uh, used to say that it was uh, 40 year olds telling 30 year olds what 20 year olds want to watch. Um, this smacks of 60 year olds telling uh, 40 year olds what 20 year olds want to watch. Hmm. I think they are so out of touch. They grab TikTok. Why? Because it's retail. They just pull things off the shelf. They don't really work at something. There's no inspiration there. They just think, oh, TikTok's big with the kids. Let's do something with the TikTok. Um, I think this is going to be st uh, corporate and stiff. And I and we're not even doing the same thing. When people see the difference between what they're putting out there and what we're going to be putting out there, um, I think that we will only benefit by comparison. And even today, even before I started commenting about it, people were going online saying, this is sleazy, uh, Bell Media. This is really sleazy. And I put up a, you know, that tweet that you pointed out. And now um, all of Bell's uh, Twitter accounts have blocked the Ed the Sock account. <laughs> Isn't that great? Talk I, about I, corporate I, pettiness. I